Hi, I'm Michael Voltaggio, chef owner of Inc. Restaurant in Los Angeles, cookbook author, and season six winner of Top Chef, and I'm here to talk to you about your new Vitamix machine. I've been working in kitchens since I was 15 years old, and I can honestly say there's no other machine that rivals a Vitamix. In the past, I've said the difference between a good restaurant and a bad one is whether or not they have a Vitamix in the kitchen. Ask the chef. If they don't, get out of there. That's because for so many professional chefs like me, the Vitamix is an invaluable tool for creating new menu items and for cutting prep time in half. I depend on Vitamix machines both in my restaurants and at home to do the work of several appliances. Even with all the kitchen equipment out there, the Vitamix is by far the most versatile I know. I not only use it to blend, chop, juice, and puree ingredients, but also use it to crush ice, emulsify dressings, and even grind flours. I also use it to make complete dishes from start to finish, everything from sauces to smoothies, hot soups, and even desserts. I know that for whatever task I use my machine, I'm gonna get consistently excellent results every time. The Vitamix is truly one of the best investments you can make in your kitchen, so congratulations on your new machine. Stay tuned to the rest of this video and I'll tell you more about its features and functions and how to make the most of your Vitamix. Since 1921, Vitamix has garnered a loyal following with their line of high quality kitchen appliances. Still a family owned company, Vitamix takes pride in its products, and with your new machine you'll soon understand why. Featuring expert craftsmanship, superior quality parts, and a full seven year warranty, Vitamix aims to make their machine the most indispensable tool in your kitchen and guarantees it will work beautifully for years to come. I'd like to introduce you to one of the company's newest machines, the amazingly versatile Professional Series 750. Use it to blend, chop, or puree practically any food you can think of in a fraction of the time it takes to do it by hand. Or use it for making dishes like hot soups, fresh peanut butter, or even frozen desserts from start to finish. This video will help give you an overview of the Vitamix, but be sure to read through the owner's manual as well as the getting started guide before you begin using your machine. The Vitamix is composed of a base, container, lid with plug, and a tamper. First, let's take a look at the base. The base is powered by an on-off switch located on the side. You know the machine is on when you see that the front of the machine is illuminated. There's also a start-stop switch on the front of the machine, which you'll use in conjunction with the variable speed dial. The variable dial is numbered 1 through 10. Whether you're blending, chopping, or pureeing, it gives you control and flexibility over the texture of the ingredients. Dial it down for a coarser cut, turn it up for a finer consistency. In addition to the manual setting, the 750 is also equipped with five automatic program settings that allow you to make popular types of recipes or to clean the machine with just the turn of a dial. All you have to do is turn the dial to smoothies, hot soups, purees, frozen desserts, or cleaning, and hit start. The machine will run at the optimal speed and length of time that the recipe calls for. It will stop when finished. Look for icons indicating which program should be used within Vitamix recipes. You'll see the soup program icon for recipes like chicken potato spinach soup, but don't be surprised if you also see the same soup program icon for dishes like fondues, since the Vitamix processes those dishes in a very similar way. To process food with quick controlled burst of power, use the pulse function. First choose the variable speed you want, then push the pulse switch down until you hear a click. Release the switch and the machine will quickly stop. The Vitamix container is made from BPA-free plastic that won't shatter if the container is dropped. Inside the container, the powerful blades use patented technology to create a vortex that circulates ingredients for thorough uniform processing. Your spill-proof lid snaps on securely, and the removable lid plug allows for ingredients to be safely dropped or poured in while the machine is running. The tamper will help you process thicker, dense ingredients by guiding them down towards the blades. The tamper's unique design allows you to rotate it around the inside of the container without it ever coming in contact with the blades. Those are all the components you need to maximize the functions of your Vitamix. Now that you're familiarized with your new machine, let's take a look at some of the recipes you can make. Making smoothies is a great option for a healthy breakfast or snack because you can pack so many servings of fruits and vegetables into just one glass. The Vitamix can quickly blend anything from soft bananas to tough pineapple cores and rock hard frozen fruits, so you can make any smoothie you can dream up. Since you can blend the whole fruit or vegetable, there's no waste. You get maximum nutritional value out of every ingredient. This fruit combo smoothie has five key ingredients, pineapple, orange, pear, apple, and ice. With the natural sweetness of the fruit, you don't need to add any extra sweetener. That means you'll taste the pure flavor of the ingredients. Place half a cup of fresh pineapple, including the core. One orange that's been peeled, seeded, and halved. One ripe pear that's been cored and halved. And half a seeded cored apple. Lastly, place one cup of ice cubes into the container. Adding the ingredients to the container in the order listed in a Vitamix recipe is key because it helps the machine work most efficiently. For this smoothie, you'll notice we added the softer fruit first, then the firmer fruit, and the ice on top. That's so the ice can help push the other ingredients down into the blade so that everything gets blended quickly and evenly. Select the smoothie program, push start, and allow it to run. It will stop automatically.
Like I said, it stops by itself. So it takes the guessing work out of getting the perfect smoothie. In the end, you can see how incredibly smooth, creamy, and light the result actually is. With how fast the machine blends and how simple it is to clean up, it's easy to make smoothies from whatever fresh or frozen fruit that you have on hand. One really amazing function that sets the Vitamix machine apart from other blenders is that the blades are so fast they can heat up ingredients with just friction alone. That means you can make dishes like this hearty chicken potato soup that are ready to serve straight from the machine. Start first by adding one cup of chicken broth, one and a half cups of milk, a quarter cup of chopped onion, about an eighth of a teaspoon of dried rosemary, and three medium russet potatoes that have been scrubbed, baked, and cut in half. We're gonna add two of the potatoes now, and we've set the others aside for later in the recipe. As with any Vitamix recipe, adding the ingredients to the container in the order they're listed helps you get the most efficient blend. Liquid ingredients on the bottom help pull the heavier ones into the blades. With this recipe, you'll see the benefit of the pre-programmed setting on the left side of the dial. Select the hot soup program, switch the machine to start, and allow it to run. Once the program is complete and the machine comes to a stop, go ahead and switch the variable speed portion of the dial for the next step. Turn the dial to the variable speed one, flip the machine to start, and remove the lid plug. Now add one tablespoon of fresh or thawed frozen spinach, the remaining potato halves, five ounces cooked in cubed skinless boneless chicken breast. Blend for an additional 10 or 15 seconds. Adding the ingredients in two phases allows you to create two textures, first a smooth puree, then hearty chunks. And there you have it. Creamy, velvety soup with delicious chunks of chicken, spinach, and potato that's hot and ready to go straight from the blender and to the table in just a few minutes. People are often surprised to learn that they can make frozen desserts like sorbets in the Vitamix. You can make frozen desserts like this berry sorbet with mixed spices from start to finish in your machine in about a minute. This sorbet pairs the flavor of five dark ripe fruits strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, red raspberries, and cherries. This recipe also has a classic combination of spices, including cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, which are often used in baking. It has an amazing depth of flavor, and since it's packed with lots of berries, it's a great way to satisfy that sweet tooth while remaining healthy. The only real food prep this recipe requires you to do is partially thaw the frozen fruits for about 20 minutes. The Vitamix does the rest. Add the ginger to the container along with the cold water and the sugar, then secure the lid. We're gonna select variable one, switch the machine to start, and slowly increase the speed to variable eight. Blend this for 20 seconds or until you see that the ginger is finally chopped. Then stop the machine and remove the lid. Now we're gonna add all the fruit, the mint leaves, the spices, and the vanilla extract. Secure the lid, select the frozen desserts program and hit start. Allow the machine to run and make sure to use the tamper to push the ingredients down. Don't worry about being delicate with the tamper or overworking the machine. The tamper is designed so that it can't come in contact with the blades. And the machine can easily process even rock hard frozen fruit. Once it stops, take a look inside. You should have four distinct mounds of sorbet shaped like a four-leaf clover. The sorbet is ready to serve straight from the container. You can freeze it for a short period of time just to firm the texture up a little bit. The texture of this sorbet is amazing, and look how rich the color is. Since this recipe calls for frozen berries, and chances are you have the rest of the ingredients in your pantry, you can make this recipe year-round, or whenever that craving for something sweet and healthy strikes. Nothing compares to the taste of fresh salsa. And when you use your Vitamix to chop all this great produce, it's a lot faster than doing the work by hand. First, we're gonna add a medium onion that's been diced. 
one seeded and split jalapeno pepper, a quarter cup of fresh cilantro leaves, the juice from half a fresh lemon or lime, half a teaspoon of salt. And if you like a spicier salsa, you can leave the seeds and add the jalapeno whole, seeds and all. This recipe also calls for six ripe Roma tomatoes that have been cut into quarters. We're gonna add six of those tomato quarters to the container now and then set the rest aside. We'll come back to them in a minute. Always add the ingredients in the order they're listed in the Vitamix recipe to get the best results. We're gonna put the lid on, set the machine to variable five and pulse two times. Using the pulse feature here helps you avoid over-processing. Giving the mixture a couple quick pulses will incorporate all the ingredients. At this point, we're ready to add the rest of the tomato quarters and we're gonna pulse them just until we get the consistency that we're looking for. This part should take about five pulses. You see that it's still nice and chunky. Be sure to have the tamper handy too in case you need to push down any large chunks of tomatoes or pepper. Adding the tomatoes in two batches creates just the right mix of fresh juice. Plus small and large chunks of tomato make for the perfectly textured authentic salsa every time. Serve this salsa with tortilla chips or use it to top off grilled meats and fish. One really impressive feature of the Vitamix is the silky smooth texture you can achieve when making sauces. Like this spicy tomato sauce that gets its heat from jalapeno pepper. As with any Vitamix recipe, adding the ingredients to the container in the order they're listed helps you get the most efficient blend. Softer liquid ingredients on the bottom help pull the heavier ones into the blades. First we're going to add four half Roma tomatoes. Then three tablespoons of tomato paste. Two tablespoons cream cheese. And half a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper. Next, we've halved the jalapeno and removed the seeds. Take some of that extra heat out of it. Next is a half a teaspoon of dried basil, one clove of garlic, and finally a quarter teaspoon of oregano. You want to secure the lid and select a puree program. Switch the machine to start and allow it to complete its cycle. Many of the sauces in the recipe book can be made start to finish in the Vitamix. To finish this recipe, you will need to pour this sauce into a pan, add in the cornstarch mixture, and let it simmer for 30 minutes. You can really taste the difference that the fresh tomatoes make in this sauce, and the silky texture created by the Vitamix is great. Use the sauce in your favorite pasta for a vegetarian entree, or add in cubed chicken breast or shrimp for a heartier main dish. Vitamix does a beautiful job of emulsifying oils with liquids such as vinegars and citrus juices to make dressings in just seconds. Here we're going to make an aromatic orange and vanilla vinaigrette that gets a little kick from hot sauce. Start off by adding two peeled, halved, and seeded oranges. After that, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and to sweeten it up a little bit, we're going to add one tablespoon of honey. Next, we're going to add one lemon that's been peeled, halved, and seeded. Then we're going to season it. Use a couple dashes of your favorite hot sauce. And finally, about a quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth a teaspoon of black pepper. That's everything we need for our dressing other than the oil, which we're going to add to the container as the machine is running to emulsify it in with the other ingredients. We're using a fruity extra virgin olive oil here, but you could substitute grapeseed oil or any other neutral tasting oil that you'd like. While this is to just teach you the basics of making an emulsion, feel free to change up the ingredients and try a different vinegar or oil. When you're ready to add the oil, select variable one and switch the machine to start. Then slowly increase the speed to variable four and blend for 20 seconds. After the 20 seconds is up, reduce the speed to variable one, remove the lid plug and slowly start pouring in the olive oil through the opening in the lid. Now we can check the consistency of the dressing. As you can see, the finished dressing is perfectly emulsified with just a bit of texture from the fresh citrus. With its sweet vanilla and tangy citrus notes, this dressing will elevate any salad. Pair it with one of the soup recipes in your recipe book and you have a fast and healthy lunch. This dressing would also be great drizzled over a main course like seared scallops, grilled shrimp, or even lobster. The Vitamix machine is fantastic for making peanut butter because it uses one single ingredient, peanuts. With the speed and strength of the blades, it takes just a couple minutes to blend. If you've never made peanut butter before, you're going to be amazed at how much better it tastes in the store-bought. 
That's because when you make it fresh at home, you don't need any preservatives or additives. This recipe calls for unsalted roasted peanuts, but you can use salted or honey roasted varieties as well. Other nuts like roasted almonds or cashews are also great alternatives. Add four cups of nuts to the container and make sure the lid is on tight. Select variable one, turn the machine on, and slowly increase the speed to variable 10. You'll need to use the tamper here to push the peanuts down towards the blades. Don't worry about being too delicate with the tamper or getting it caught. It's designed so it will never come in contact with the blades. Around the one minute mark, you'll hear a high pitched chugging sound. Once the butter starts to move more freely, reduce the speed to variable seven and blend for an additional 30 seconds. As soon as you remove that lid, you're going to get hit with that aroma of delicious, fresh, warm peanut butter. Not to mention how creamy it is. I'm sure it's going to disappear fast, but if you have any left over, you can store it in the refrigerator for up to a week, or even freeze it for more long-term storage. Another fantastic feature of the Vitamix is that you can use it like you would a food processor to chop practically any kind of food, like cheese. So many recipes call for grated cheese, and it's a huge time saver for me to process it in the Vitamix rather than doing all the hard work by hand. You want the lid on when processing the cheese, but remove the lid plug so you can drop the cheese in while the machine is running. Turn the speed to variable three and switch the machine to start. Drop cheese that is cut into one inch cubes one at a time through the opening in the lid and replace the lid plug after each addition. It takes just seconds of processing to get the right texture. The Vitamix is great for saving time on hard cheeses like this, but you can also use it for softer cheeses like blocks of cheddar or mozzarella. We all have those pieces of kitchen equipment that we sometimes hesitate to use because of how difficult they are to clean. But one of my favorite things about the Vitamix is how quick and easy the cleaning process is. It's actually a self-cleaning machine and you don't even need to take it apart. All you do is add a couple of drops of soap to the container, fill it up halfway with warm water, and make sure the lid is on tightly. Select the clean program and hit start. You'll be able to see the food residue washing off the inside of the container as the water and soap are circulated by the blades. Now as you can see, the program will stop automatically. Now just pour the soapy water out of the container over the lid and rinse everything off with clean water. Then just turn the container upside down to dry or simply wipe it out with a dry towel. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of why Vitamix is the brand chosen by chefs all over the world. With its ability to prep ingredients, it transforms food in just minutes or even seconds. The Vitamix machine is quite possibly the most versatile appliance you'll ever own. Yes, it's a blender, but you'll use it in place of the food processor, juicer, hot soup machine, grain mill, ice cream maker, and so much more. You'll find the Vitamix is truly one of the best investments you can make in your kitchen. And with a comprehensive seven year warranty, it's guaranteed that your machine will be running for years to come. This video gives you everything you need to get started with your new Vitamix. For more information and hundreds more Vitamix recipes, you can also visit Vitamix.com. Your new Vitamix machine makes your time in the kitchen more efficient, creative, and fun. It provides you with all kinds of new culinary possibilities, so enjoy.